My name is Rolando Rodriguez Muñoz and I work at the University of Exeter Center for Ecology and Conservation, Cornwall Campus. I'm going to make a brief presentation on a study about garden behavior that I've been doing with Tom Tregenza and Amanda Redman. We know that males of many species guard females after mating to prevent them from mating with rival males and so put their paternity at risk. This sort of behavior has been generally seen as a source of conflict between the sexes, as it favors males at a cause for females who are forced to behave in a way that might not be optimal for them. During three years, we've been studying the mating behavior of a field cricket in the wild, and we have discovered that sometimes mate guarding can represent a source of mutual benefits more than a conflict between the sexes. Our study species lives in meadows and uses burrows excavated among the grass where they can hide to escape from predators. These burrows have a tubular, very narrow structure so that crickets cannot even turn around when they are inside. Each individual defends its burrow and a small territory around it from other crickets. Only adults from different sex share the same burrow during the breeding season. Males are particularly aggressive towards other males and encounters always dry to fights for the possession of the burrow. Males sing from the entrance of their burrows to attract females for mating. Approaching females very often mount males immediately and can stay with them for up to more than one day before leaving in search for other males. Adult crickets spend most of their lives in and around the entrance of their narrow burrows, so all their activity takes place within a small area. It is possible to carry out a detailed monitoring of their behavior by using cameras that cover the territory around each burrow. Crickets can be tagged with an exclusive code that can be read on the recorded videos. By collecting a small portion of the tip of one of the hind legs, we can extract DNA and genotype each individual to build a pedigree. Using this pedigree, we can estimate the number of offspring that each male contributes to the next generation. During three consecutive years, we monitored cricket activity in a wild population by using a network of 96 day and night cameras. We recorded 24 hours a day during the whole breeding season. Video is showing a male on the left and a female on the right. We found that when they are alone, males and females behave in a similar way. They move around the burrow in search of food and go inside for protection when they detect any movement around them. However, when they are in pairs, males adopt a guarding behavior. They stay vigilant about females' movements but allow their partners to move freely in and out the burrow. Males stay always outside when the female is around the burrow and close to the surface when both are inside. As a consequence of this behavior, males are always farther away from the burrow or closer to the outside when a predator attacks. And that means that whenever one of the members of the pair is killed, it is always the male. Here, a robin catches a male from a shared burrow. The female goes inside first and survives the attack. When Ice Roo attacks a burrow, males are at risk even if both partners can go inside the burrow on time. As Roos can enter the burrow and drag them outside. As compared to staying as singles, this chivalrous behavior increases males' risk of being killed by a predator up to four times. For females, that risk is decreased for up to six times. But males do not die in an altruistic way. Females very often lay eggs while sharing a burrow with a male. By guarding them, males increase the number of matings they get and that makes them to increase their paternity over the progeny of their partners. We know that lifespan is an important component of fitness in these crickets and an earlier death is the price that males pay for protecting their mates. This means that there is a compromise between being chivalrous or not 
and this compromise might change according to changes in the environmental factors from year to year. Ours is a long-term project and we are looking ahead to find out whether chivalry prevails within the forthcoming generations.